Hey there guys, Tom here, welcome back to my movie channel and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new Christopher Nolan movie that's finally in cinemas, Tenet. And if you guys haven't been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. I've been waiting for this movie for such a long time, it's had four release dates I think, and I don't know if it's out in, you know, all of the US yet, but it came out in Australia, actually, it didn't come out in Australia today. I saw an advance showing. It comes out in Australia next week. So, for those of you in the US who haven't had the opportunity, unfortunately, to see Tenet yet because of what's going on in the world right now, rest assured that I will not be spoiling anything in this movie. I'm going to talk very carefully about Tenet because this is a movie that you do not want to be spoiled for. So, Tenet was written and directed by Christopher Nolan and it stars Robert Pattinson, John David Washington, and Elizabeth Debicki, and also Kenneth Branagh, who recently directed Artemis Fowl, which wasn't good. And how best to describe this film? It's a sci-fi action thriller with a little bit of time travel thrown in there. This is a very weird movie and it's also like a distinctly Christopher Nolan movie. You know, Christopher Nolan movies, you can tell when you're watching a Christopher Nolan movie and you don't even have to be a big cinephile to recognize his style. It just sort of radiates off the screen. And this is a movie to me that only Christopher Nolan could pull off. This movie is, I, I actually really enjoyed this film, but I get the feeling that this film is going to confuse a lot of people. I don't know that a lot of people are going to enjoy this movie. I think, I think there are going to be some people who find this movie to be boring and I can certainly see why some people might have that opinion. Personally, I didn't. I found this movie to be thoroughly entertaining. I found the action sequences in this film are incredible. But let's start and talk about some of the characters and some of the actors and the performances of Tenet. John David Washington is a great actor. He was in Black Klansman. He had a small part in Old Man and the Gun. He's been doing some really good work lately. And he's great in this film, as well as Robert Pattinson, who's not just Twilight Boy, and of course he's going to be our new Batman. And listen, for those of you who have only seen Twilight and have seen nothing else Robert Pattinson has done, and you're worried about him being Batman, don't be, because he's a fantastic actor. Check out some of his other work and see him in Tenet, because he is really good in this movie. The standout performer, though, of this film to me and my friend Ali, who saw the film with me, the standout performer to me in this movie is Elizabeth Debicki. Debicki? And to me, she was the most compelling character in the movie. And while that's great for Elizabeth Debicki and, and that character, I didn't find the other characters in the film, like the John David Washington character or the character that Robert Pattinson plays, I didn't find those characters overly compelling. You know, I didn't find myself getting emotionally invested in those characters, but their performances managed to carry the movie and managed to keep me invested because of how charismatic a John David Washington is. It's very hard not to see a young Denzel watching <laughs> watching his son in lead movies, and it's very hard not to care about Robert Pattinson because he is so charming and charismatic. But as is the case with most, if not all, Christopher Nolan movies, this movie looks absolutely fantastic. The cinematography on display in this movie is worth going to see this movie on its own. Like, it, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking. There are some gorgeous shots in this film that you could just photograph and put on your wall as a as a wallpaper or as a, as a poster, because it just looks fantastic. And the action scenes in this film with time reversing and going backwards and forwards, and you've seen some of it in the trailers, like, you know, there'll be a car, it'll be driving, and then time will reverse and it will roll backwards at, towards the characters. And, you know, shooting guns and bullets going back into the gun instead of shooting outwards. Like, the d the depiction of the reversal of time in this film, I thought was really creative and it worked really well. Time travel in movies can be a bit of a cheap and lazy device because really with time travel, there are no consequences. You know, if you have time travel, there's no m problem in any movie ever that can't be solved with time travel. And I feel like with Tenet, they found a creative way to use it and it never felt like a lazy plot device. It never felt cheap. And similar to an Inception, or an interstellar, you come home and you sit and you just think about it for a long time. <laughs> and, and it just plays and plays over in your head and you think about it. And the more you think about it, the more you understand it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still sitting here processing the movie because I've just seen it literally an hour ago. Christopher Nolan once again has made a movie that is just 
fantastic. I mean, I, has Christopher Nolan made a bad movie? I don't think he has. Christopher Nolan makes movies that, you know, just win. Dunkirk was fantastic. The Dark Knight trilogy is fantastic. Interstellar, Memento, Inception, they're all great. And Tenet, Tenet, not Tenet, Tenet is no exception to that. Guys, this movie is fantastic. When this movie does come out and you are able to go and see it, go and see it because I think it'll be worth going to see, if for nothing else, just to see a brand new Christopher Nolan movie on screen because... Look, I enjoyed Tenet. I had a great time watching it. I hope you guys will have a great time watching it when you eventually get to see it. Thank you very much for watching this review, guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom, and I will see you guys next time.